Uh, well, first off, I was excited, uh, obviously, about it uh, to get my opportunity, especially being hurt all season, not being able to even practice or throw a ball. So, you know, I was I was itching to to get out here, but uh, now that I got out here, it feels good uh, to get back into the swing of things, and I'm excited about Sunday now. Looking back, how will all those first team reps, and OTAs, training camp, and the preseason help you now going out there building a foundation of timing and chemistry with those guys? A lot. Uh, I know last year. Uh, when I came into play, it was a little different story. I didn't get that many reps with the ones, uh, but you know, all training camp, I uh, was rotating in and out with Trevor, so I didn't have benefit benefited me a lot. Uh, so I was able to come out here and not really take as long to get my timing down with those guys and get in the rhythm with those guys. But uh, it felt good, even though it was the first day out here. Uh, but we're going to keep working towards Sunday. Because the season has gone the way it has, Pax, do you feel less pressure? Uh, I mean, I didn't really think of there being any pressure if I were to come in any time during the season. Uh, you can't let the you know the season get bigger than you or the game be bigger than you, uh, whether we were on a winning streak or not. You know, it's one game at a time. So uh, that was kind of mentality coming into it. How would you define success? Getting a win. Yeah, so I want to go out there and win the game, obviously. Uh, however that happens, you know, however we got to do that. And I think that, you know, we got a good game plan and, and we're moving towards that. Do you feel like this is no, no. Uh, at this point, I feel 100% comfortable in uh, my body. And even though I got hurt, I feel like it, you know, it doesn't even affect me now. So a lot of praise to those guys in the training room uh, getting me back to where I need to be. Do you view this as kind of a, a last chance to show what you can do before the offseason? Uh, I, don't, I don't think take it as a last chance, but I take it obviously as an opportunity uh, to go out there and you know show that you can be the guy, uh, you know they called they called my number. So uh, I've been preparing this whole time, uh, whether it was out here on the practice field or in the training room when I couldn't come out here. So I'm confident where I am and and what we can do this weekend. What kind of relationship have you built uh, with Bill Musgrave since he's come in here? Uh, it's, it's been a good one. Uh, I think it's really helped uh, us and especially me the fact that he's been our quarterback coach. Uh, now he's the OC. I know when. Uh, you get an OC, you don't get to spend as much time with them as you do a quarterback coach, whereas they're sitting in the meeting room with you all the time. Uh, but I, I've, I've developed a good relationship with Coach, Mus coach Musgrave, and I trust in his plan. Do you need a little extra that you know, he did have some input in who was going to start this weekend and, and he helped uh, you know, make you the guy? Uh, well, I, I didn't know any of that, but um, obviously that makes me, makes me feel good about myself that uh, Coach Musgrave you know, has the trust in me. Uh, to go out there and perform and get a win, and that's ultimately uh, what I'm out here trying to do. How did Brock, how did Brock and Trevor treat you this morning? Uh, fine, you know, no different than uh, we've been treating. You know, we've been acting towards each other all season. There was no difference. How's it been going to be offensive coordinator now, less than two years? Uh, it's a little different, but obviously, uh, the OC being switched in the middle of the season, it's not a full you know full switch between this offense and that offense you know there's a lot of similarities so i think he's gonna you know try to try to cut it down so we can go out there and play fast and and not have to think do you feel that those those offenses cater entirely around you and your strengths uh i would say that it's it's obviously got some uh some things to where it fits my ability uh, but i don't think it's solely based on how i play i think that it also helps the guys around us too. I mean, we got good receivers and we got good running backs in the backfield too. So uh, it's just figuring out a way how we can get all those guys the ball. Ben said he wants you to still be an athlete. You know, run if it's there. How do you kind of distinguish that fine line of making plays with the feet but not getting too far off script? I think it's just, just instincts. I think if you feel the, you know, you feel the pocket collapsing, then you don't be scared to take the ball down and run with it. And I think that that, that makes me feel a lot better about myself that the coaches have that trust in me to take care of the football when I'm running with it and throwing it. So uh, I'm just going to use my instincts. And if I feel like uh, the, the pocket is collapsing, I need to take the ball down and run, then I will. CJ Anderson said that your study habits behind the scenes have really, really improved and you're asking a bunch of questions. Why was it important for you to kind of up your game in that area? Uh, I just think that when I first came in, you know, like I said, I didn't really know much about you know how to study like a professional and and doing that day in and day out. 
Uh, but as I kind of got a chance to sit back and learn and, and talk to the coaches and spend a year with those coaches and be around guys who are around Peyton, and then, you know, Brock comes in and, uh, you know, he spent a lot of time on Peyton too. Uh, and getting a chance to, to watch how Brock prepares and comes out here and handles practice, I think that only benefited me. How well must Baylor's offense look in comparison to the boys? Is it much different? No. Uh, obviously, like I said, uh, with it being a week that it is, especially when it's Thanksgiving week, um, you can't really switch the offense and expect everybody to be able to go out there and play full speed and, and be confident in what they're doing. So I think that Coach Musgrave has a plan, and he's orchestrating that to us, and I think it's a really good one. Do you still feel any pinch or anything when you throw in the shoulder? No, no. Like I said, uh, the training staff did a really good job at handling me and kind of taking it day by day and slowly easing into into it, and now I feel uh, even stronger than I did. Jackson, has it been kind of a rolling for you coming in and saying you can't compete for the job getting hurt? Being an active for so long, being active and now being the starter. Yeah, uh, it's been it's been a crazy year for sure, uh, but it's just really been about you know keeping my head level, uh, not getting too high, not getting too low uh, with what's going on around me, and focusing on what I can control. And that's what I was what I was doing through the process of being injured, and then uh, whenever training camp ended and the season started. So it's just really been focusing on getting better. Uh, and, and improving every day. Can you only get a feel of when to run or when to pass in a game, or can you practice that and get a feel of that in practice? Uh, I would say you can get you can you can obviously get a feeling of it in practice, but it's a little different because you know those guys aren't rushing to come hit you. Those guys are working on their technique and getting up the field and then doing what their coaches do after the play. Uh, but in the game, you know those guys are coming around the edge trying to starting to hit you. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Yep. Thanks.